Hey everyone, uh, it's unboxing time and this month, this month, this time, it's super geek stuff. Um, just to let you all know, just because I'm excited about it, I, me and my other half finally exchanged on our first ever house yesterday. So there will be a period of time where I'm not sure how things will go, happen and whatever. Obviously I need to let people who I've got subscriptions would know that my address is different. Um, so this is the unboxing for Super Geek stuff. Now I just wanted to say as well this week Shabby Geek have announced that they're closing down, that they're shut. Um, if you want to get your money back you have to put in a claim. I've done mine. Um, but I've also noticed it seems like Super Geek stuff are being hit a little bit by Shabby Geek's reputation and you know me, I, I, I've i used both companies and I love both companies um, but I can safely say that Super Geek stuff has never sort of had some of the major problems that Shabby Geek have ended up with so I have full hope and trust in this company um, but then I'm a very trusting person so I am not going to lie I can't remember this month's theme um, just looking at the items I think it was science so ooh. right so we've got a t-shirt and the t-shirt is a Doctor Who t-shirt I don't have any Doctor Who t-shirts actually and I do watch it I do enjoy it um, Fruit of the Loom Lady Fit. Always nice. Um, so yeah, we've just got a Doctor Who t-shirt. Um, one of the things that I really love is that they've started pop putting their pops in pop protectors. I got one of these a couple of months ago. And uh, I'd, I've kind of... Because uh, I know I'm going to be moving. I've been packing stuff away. But I, know, I knew which pop I wanted to put in it. But I haven't put it in there yet. But we've got Ray Gun Stewie. I haven't got any of the Family Guy ones yet, so this is cool. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it is science, just because the items would make some form of sense. And then we've got a little uh, key ring, and it's the Big Bang Theory. I've taken it out just because the label was in front of it. So, Big Bang Theory. So, there's the key ring. Uh, um, just to let people know as well, if you're in the UK, just as I am moving and I'm having a big clear out, if anyone wants to like buy a mystery box from me, let me know, because I have lots of stuff, obviously, that I, me or the other half, don't require slash need, and I can make you up boxes. Um, there was actually someone called Ben who bought one and did an unboxing video. I might link it down below if you want to have a look and see roughly what sort of stuff you can get. But, carry on with the unboxing. Um, we've got a um, coaster, and it's a Doctor Who coaster with K9 on. Um, I'll just show. There you go. I've got a few coasters now. Don't need to buy any ever. Um, and then the last item is, and this is what is making me definitely think it's the science item, is Breaking Bad. Um, blue sky candy so I, I've watched Wreck Breaking Bad and, and quite enjoyed it actually so um, this is like my own meth collection now um, and I can eat it so yeah I, I think I've seen these before or s similar things um, it looks like this could have been made by either super geek stuff themselves or someone's made it for them which is quite cool so I have a thing about air in bags I've just got to push it out um, so that was this month's box which as I, said, I believe the theme was science so you've got your crystal meth um, coaster pop your big bang theory keyring and the Doctor Who t-shirt. 
So on average, I believe the box is £25 and that includes your postage. Um, I did get mine cheaper because I bought, um, like when they were doing an offer, I bought like a six month subscription um, for a very good value money. I can't even remember what it was now. But um, yeah, so that's this month's science box. So next month, I think the way that the boxes are working, because this is May's. Yeah, this is May's box. So June has already sold out, and I believe it's July on sale. So if you're interested, it will be July's box, which I think, and actually they said they're going to move the shipping day forward, because obviously we keep getting the month's box just in the beginning of the next month. So I think the shipping day is going to move forward to the 20th, which will mean that you'll get that month in that month, rather than a couple of days afterwards. So... June's box is going to be interesting. I should still be here for it. So, fingers crossed, I'll double check and message them around the time. Um, now, uh, fingers crossed, later next week, I'm going to have a creepy subscription box. Um, there's been some delays on it, but they're, I think they're getting it sorted and it should be coming out next week. So, uh fingers crossed for that and uh, I'm looking forward to that unboxing but uh, as usual pleased with um, the Super Geek stuff box as I said don't let what's happened with Shabby Geek put you off Super Geek stuff um, they've been around for a long time they've been doing conventions and other stuff for a long time before they started the subscription boxes so I don't think they're going anywhere obviously with Shabby Geek they've only just sort of they were only doing the subscription boxes they got themselves caught in a unfortunately a dying loop as you'd say um but super geek stuff have been around for a long time prior to doing these boxes so i would hope that they're not going anywhere all right thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye